Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. It's great to be with you on uh, March the 1st, where we are now today. We are entering into the into this month that is uh, so powerful. And I'm sure that you're all feeling already the waves that are coming in for the change of energy that is uh, that is with us and that's ahead of us. And um, as we are preparing ourselves at the moment for the, the cosmic twin flame alchemy, which is about, actually it's about the oneness mission on earth for all of us, we felt each and every day the presence of Mary Magdalene and Jeshua amplifying. They are with us in the fields at the moment in a strong way, uh, bringing a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of, of essence to what it is that we'll be doing all together in this collective work. And in a way, what they're doing is they're supporting each and every one of us to remember, to remember deeply um, what is asked, what is connected to our deepest soul mission at the moment, when, uh, which is all related to bringing in the, the deep, deep harmony on earth that comes from the oneness consciousness, the consciousness of source, the, the, the stepping out of everything that has to do with separation and that whole false narrative that we on earth have been in for such a long time. Yeah, it's it's and, almost really yeah. like um, it's 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 what they're what they're really coming in uh, to anchor us into the um, the knowing that this call that sometimes feels like it's coming from so so far away, um, and we're not sure that we're hearing it or not, or if it's like it's like a dream that comes in once in a while to give a message but then we forget the dream in the morning and we're not sure we even had a dream it's it's something like that um th that's kind of happening in the field and they're coming in strongly to support us in knowing that this is not a dream this is really a call and even though the signal may be really faint um, the call is there, and um, it has felt in some way, Petra, that it's like we've been downloading from the collective unconscious of the Essene soul family. Um, this, um, this like it's like a collective unconscious, collective unconscious mission. Huh? It's really what it is. It's a mission that's been been put in place a long time ago that is held in this collective unconscious field, and that we have been asked to bring it, retrieve it from this unconscious field, and bring it into the conscious field, and uh, transmit it into um, the global global field so that people can hear and resonate and see if they can remember yeah it feels like it is somehow been put into a dormant space or in a place where we kept it really deeply hidden because it wasn't safe to let it to live it to remember it actively also and i feel i mean we've been called uh, actually through the Essene soul family when we were in in Sinai a couple of months ago um, to remember, to remember also the times that many of us know that the Essenes were living. And I'm talking here around the time that Mary Magdalene and Jeshua lived on earth as we know them by these names. And it feels like um, and, and Jeshua has been very clear with us when this work arrived in our fields by telling us, like, you know, we've done what we were able to do at the time, which is a huge, 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 huge step in the, the history of Earth, bringing in this, this Christ impulse. And yet, 
the work is not finished. And he has been very strong on that to us, realized the work was not finished. We brought it where it was at the time and realize how fertile the soil is now to finish it, to bring it to completion is maybe a better word of saying. And this is really about anchoring the highest level of consciousness that many of us hold in our fields. And we were gathering yesterday evening with our community, our membership community, knowing how many people who are in our lineage, in, in our school, have, um, have a connection, have a memory of these times, have a memory of as seen, as seen lifetimes at that time. I mean, it's broader, but I want to talk a little bit about that specific moment in time. And we were feeling like this. there is a bell that's ringing somewhere, like you said, as in a dream almost, like mm. now is the time. And we are calling you in as a group. And this is what is asked from us, to call you in to be with us in this, this service that we are ready to deliver because we are ready. And it's it's in a way when we were in a, in a, in a transmission work, we were feeling how it has been all prepared at the time of the Essenes. It's already like geometrically put into place in a way for us to fully step in, remember, and then do what it is that we all hold, which is so unique. And this is a collective work. This is not a work. And there, you know, I cannot say this enough. This is not only a work for the twin flames. There is a specific work for the twin flames, but it's a collective group work as, as, as you know, uh, I want to say, because each and every one of us holds the individual key in our hearts um, to, to turn it on, to turn on the codes, to turn on the light, if you like, to unlock it. And with that, at the same time, we release the vows also that we have held so long because we needed to hold the vows for reasons of safety, for reasons of commitment that we gave to each other. And we want to maybe uh, maybe speak a little bit, Petra, also about how within our community meeting and speaking with members of our community, there are feelings of fear that are coming up because uh, it's been such a habit in a way of keeping this vow and keeping this really uh, sacred knowledge in a way, this sacred light yeah. hidden. So the the fact that now is the time to reopen these um these this light wisdom is uh is a huge step uh in in our in in our history actually on this planet so um we spoke about this and also one of the patterns that's so um present is the fact that we need to do it alone because we've been doing it alone for so long and that this really, this pattern is coming from the false matrix of separation, and that's something to be made aware of as well, that uh, the separation matrix, this uh, false matrix, is something that we are here actually to dissolve within ourselves. That's the whole point, actually, uh, of where we are right now. So to understand that. Yeah, yeah and not... And not do it alone actually i mean we have to take our individual unique path within the collective that's also what the new era is about if we're talking about the era of aquarius we're talking about a brother and sisterhood that's holding each other in a, in a safe space so that each and every one of us can step up rise resurrect into um yeah into your truth into your soul mission if you like to be fully present at this time because the time is now and we receive ongoing in these days the message of the of the beings in the light realms also they are in a way gathering around us supporting all of us building the field and if you're connected to this you must probably somewhere feel this so we want to share that also here so that you're aware of what's happening and so that will that will keep on working. But I feel also that there needs to be an understanding, a deep understanding of how the beautiful geometry at the time of Mary Magdalene and Jeshua 
was created in the energies so that the Christ impulse could come in, which was a collective work of the Essenes that could hold that similar high consciousness, knowing what it was that they needed to do in the moment and building together this incredible divine geomet geomet geometrical structure through which it could enter into the earth realms, this impulse. And something similar is happening at the moment, but we take it up from the moment where it is left. So now we continue in this almost new land that we have not done before, but we are totally trained to be able to know what needs to happen in the moment. So we will be working collectively with recreating and amplifying these geometries so that the next level of consciousness can truly arrive in that geometry in the earth realms, which will then open up a whole human domain of multidimensionality that we have only dreamt of. <laughs> so, uh, which, because it will be in us, it will be happening in us, these, these structures. We will become, and we are the living temples of the one heart. And, uh, and I can only say that it's the deepest, um, deepest service I feel that we can do at this moment for the entire human family. So, I mean, if you feel this call, because we feel there is so much beyond the words, there's only one way that you can feel that you have to be there, then please meditate also on it and remember Remember the promise. Remember that it wasn't finished. Remember that we would come together again like we do now and feel into to be part and to have the courage also to stand together up into this work that is upon us. And uh, we feel there's so much gratitude in the light realms for us. We feel the gratitude for each and every one that's coming into the field at the moment. And uh, we also would like to ask you to, if there is doubt, if you're cold, if you feel maybe too small for the work or whatever feelings or emotional uh, false information is still moving through our system, which is very, very understandable in, from where we're coming, then please connect to Mary Magdalene and Jeshua directly mm -hmm. and ask for guidance because they will be supporting us in the remembrance process that we are in and they are fully behind. They are part of our group mission. So, um, yeah, that's, that's actually what I would like to, what I wanted to share this morning. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. There, there has to... been, there has been, uh, another discussion an interesting discussion, but, uh, an important one also about the, there's so much distrust now uh, coming up with the astrology that's uh, that's um that's move, move, moving all kinds of uh, material in our systems and we don't know who to trust anymore how to trust trusting ourselves trusting others and um and Mary Magdalene and Yeshua have been coming in also to say when you don't know and when you are not sure and when you're distrusting and not know where to anchor, then please um, connect to us so that we can reassure you in the truth of your divine light. Yeah, that's so incredible, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. There is there is a big prayer for me in my heart that I that I that I truly carry that each 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 of us each of us as being a member of the soul family will deeply connect to its uniqueness because when that arises in oneself there's nothing else but opening up to the field of the one heart uh, and step forward in the in the beautiful being that that each and every one of us is, mm. and we're all needed. There's no one excluded from this soul family to do this work. I just want to state that because sometimes people feel that they are not trained enough or they are not experienced enough. We all hold something unique 
that is necessary in this process. Mm. Mm. And, and that's really it's all needed. Yeah. It's really the the false matrix speaking that uh, within our systems that that is giving us that perception. It's not actually the truth of our power and our light, which is actually the whole purpose of this work is to bring us much more deeply in tune with our own inner power, our own inner light, our own inner uh, multidimensionality, um, the truth of ourselves in a higher intelligence field and a divine intelligence field yeah yeah i would like to finish maybe with um with the beautiful sentence that is in the Aram aramaic lord's prayer that says uh, thy will be done and i feel that's one of the most powerful sentences we maybe need in this time to understand how deep we are asked to surrender to the divine guidance and that we can fully trust that that's the that's the steps that's the path we're taking so um yeah having beautiful. said that yes we would like to wish you a beautiful start of the month of Mar march and uh, we hope to meet you in this uh, beautiful service that we're asked to do now mm. yes Aho. Thank you. Have a beautiful, Thank beautiful so day. See you again soon. Namaste. Namaste.